State your name. Brian Abraham Wexford. You are now Council Director Brian Abraham Wexford. Thanks. Hey, can you do me a favor and do the whole I know nothing thing from Hogan's Heroes? It's just that you have the accent for it. I find that offensive. Hey, hey, do as the director tells you. Uh, I know nothing. I see nothing. I did not even get up this morning. <laughs> that was great. Good job, Schultze. My name is Klaus, you ass. State your name. I'm Ricardo Andreas Egan. Also known as the best womanizer in all of Miguel Ahumada. Bullshit. I can't even see you inside that suit. It's too. You are now my only love. I mean, Council Director Ricardo. Can I call you Ricky? You can call me anytime. State your name. Seven. No, your full name. That is his full name. What? That doesn't make any sense. It sounds like a nickname. It isn't. It's his... it's his name. His full name. Seven isn't a real name. We know. We looked it up in the Galactic phone book once. The closest thing we found to Seven was Severn, whom we imagine was Armenian. Alright then. You are now Council Director Seven. The word director sounds stupid. I want to be called the Master. The master of something. Doesn't that sound awesome? Hey, if Ricky's gonna be a council master, I wanna be council master too. So does Seven. What? I don't care. You're the council directors, and there's nothing you can do about it. Wait a minute, what the f are you talking about? Of course we can do something about it. We're the council directors. We run this program. We can tell them what to do. And I say, we're the council masters. Hey, yeah. Council, council masters. masters. Council masters. Council masters. Council okay. Fine! You are now the council masters, happy? Thanks. You're a credit to the force, Schultz. Get the f out of my office! Yes, mine Fuhrer. <laughs> ah! Uh, come on, Klaus. No, I, I was just kidding. No, stop it! Please, no! No, don't shoot me, please. Ah! Uh, come on, I was kidding. No, Klaus! Well, boys, how you liking them new combat suits? They're great. They're almost as awesome as ripping off Family Guy. Flashback. Well, seeing that you boys are going to be staying here, you should probably get around to get to know the place. I'll meet you back here in about an hour. Wicked sci-fi graphics. No, wait, Seven, don't touch those. They're highly explosive. What? Yep. His whole voice box is completely blown out. Looks like there'll be no talking for at least three days. If we're gonna get it removed, we'll have to give him our most painful and risking surgery. But he doesn't have to get it. It isn't even necessary to remove it. He would just clean out his throat. He's not going to be using his throat anyway. So if he doesn't want to get an incredibly painful surgery, all he has to do is say no. S seven? Do, do you want the surgery, sir? You're gonna, you're gonna have to speak up. Is, is that a yes? Well, okay. If you're fine with horrid throat pain for two weeks, I'll get the surgical equipment. He'll be back on his feet in about seven hours. Ha, <laughs> seven. <laughs> That's his name. All right, Brian, your bedroom is down the hall to the right and next to the medication center. You could even pick up some painkillers on your way there. Sweet. Grabbing pills here. Ah! What happened? I slipped on a, on a damn, damn banana, banana, banana peel. peel. Who the hell leaves a banana, banana peel on the ground? On the ground. Not to I mention why a banana, banana peel is here in the first, first place. place. We don't even eat bananas, bananas outside, outside our suits. suits. Ah! My knee. It shattered like a dinner plate. Ricky, your room is over there. Okay, I'll try my best not to break anything. Oh, by the way, try your best not to fall off the side. It's a big oh, drop. Oh,
We can't keep him here. We need to send him somewhere that we don't care about. Somewhere where they can't break anything. Hello? Is anyone gonna help me? I'm... I'm hemorrhaging. I got it. We'll send him to Outpost 12T. Sir, we can't send him there. It was abandoned for a reason. I don't care. Set up a pelican right now. <sighs> right away, sir. Alright, first things first. I'm Gunner Sergeant Dick Johnson, but you can call me Dick. Before you get flown to Outpost 12T, we have some things to cover. Here is a picture of a mini piranha, one of the deadly fish you will meet in the river of your base. I drew that myself. <gasps> mini piranhas are real? Well, it hasn't been scientifically proven yet, but we're almost positive we saw a real one on Google Images, and they can always be trusted. This is a cow. They are to be avoided at all costs. Rumor has it that radiation poisoning causes them to become super intelligent. Once again, no evidence, but highly believable. And third is the common super raccoon. That's just a bear. Impossible. The Heretic's Atmosphere Destroyer made sure of their extinction. We haven't seen any in America, therefore they don't exist anymore. So if this isn't a bear, it must be a super raccoon. These are highly dangerous and to be avoided at all costs as well. But Shut up! Y you can't Shut tell up. me to- Hey. Shut up! You uh, no! Shut no! If you wanna talk, don't email. And don't you click click click. Just shut up. You really are a dick. Shut up! Now that we're clear on what's safe, I'm gonna fire up the plane. Patrick! Hit it. Yes, yes sir! sir. Now activating orbital drop sequence. This is, uh, this is gonna take a while. Hey, Stuart. What? Are we there yet? No! 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 Are we there? Shut the f up! Okay. Hey, Stuart. What? Are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? No! 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 No, we are not there yet. Motherfucker!